Oh my! <laughs> it makes you wow. want to say, Oh my! Oh my! <laughs> I got That's... you. I got you to do something you've never done Look before. Look at that! All right. That's Look great. at that! Don Moe and Lenny LeBlanc, gospel music's best and brightest. What a joy and what a thrill! And a privilege to have them on Jeff Kananga Live with a live audience here. Millions of you watching. I know you're tweeting at Don Moen, at L LeBlanc7, at Kananga Jeff. The hashtag mm -hmm. is JKL. Don, you said something earlier on. Before were you introducing this song, you said it's okay to repeat praise. Is, is it okay to, to say the yeah. same thing over and over? Yeah. Does it uh, get boring for you? Know, yeah, what? don't stop praying. If you're here tonight or you're listening and you've got a prayer that has not yet been answered, don't stop praying. Tonight could be the night when God answers that prayer. And sometimes if we don't get an answer right away, we just kind of give up. But, you know, we've got to persevere. We've got to just keep praying, keep praying, keep praying, because God is always working in ways that we cannot see. And, and sometimes we just, we give up just at the moment. So tonight could be that moment when <laughs> God breaks through and answers that prayer. <laughs> so yeah, just keep going through it. Don't stop praying. God loves it when we pray. Yeah. yeah. Lenny, which is the strangest country you ever went to? Hmm. And performed in? Kenya. <laughs> I was afraid you were going to say that. <laughs> now you're in trouble. <laughs> was um, it anything what you were expecting? No, no. I've been getting emails from Kenya, you know, people saying, when are you going to come here? The, your songs are popular. And I thought, how am I ever going to get to Kenya? It'd have to be through President Don. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we've got a couple of questions from the audience. Sir, go ahead. Uh, my name is Phil Batagano, University of Nairobi. Uh, I have a question for about Don and Lenny. Uh, it is easy for somebody watching you on television or on uh, listening to your to your audio music uh, to see that you are always happy. You're always at this happy place. Is there any time that you ever felt so low? And uh, what would you tell somebody who has ever been to that place? You know, sometimes we say we've hit rock bottom. What honestly would you tell such a person? Because in Kenya, for hon uh, honestly speaking, right now. The university students specifically, mm -hmm. we yeah. are hurting after yeah. just what had happened or what happened in Garissa. What would you honestly tell a student, somebody who's living in fear, and of course con uh, connect that to have you ever hit that rock bottom? Watching you on television, you yeah. are always this happy mm -hmm. person. Thank good, you. Good question, Phil. Thank you. Yeah, good question. Um, I'll take a crack at it. Uh, you know, when I wrote God Will Make a Way, I wrote it for a desperate situation in our family. Uh, my little nephew hit, was killed in a car accident. And when I got the news, the telephone call, that uh, he had been killed, um, all the words that came to my mind to say to my brother-in-law and sister-in-law seemed to fall short of what I, what I really wanted to say. Uh, that's not the time when you say, that's all right, all things work together for good. I mean, I, they, that's true. Romans 8.28 says all things do work together for good. But in a moment like that, that's not when you pull out that scripture. And I, I was sitting on an airplane the next day, and, and we were pre preparing for the funeral. I was reading from Isaiah chapter 43. How the Lord will make a roadway in the wilderness and a river in the desert. Uh, Isaiah 43, 18 and 19 says, Behold, I will do something new, and it will surprise you. Uh, I'll, I'll make a roadway in the wilderness and a river in the desert. Now is the time to realize that in spite of the darkness, God is going to do something new in Kenya. Uh, the first few verses of chapter 43 of Isaiah says, Don't be afraid. I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. You can put Kenya in there. Kenya, you are mine. 